Hello again. Welcome back to Tasha's room. So I'm back. I got another package from Timu. So I'm doing the video for y'all. Not clothes this time, by the way. I got other stuff. So we don't see if I can get it open. What we got real quick before I'm supposed to start another stream. I don't even know what all this is. We're about to see though. Alrighty. Let's see what's in bag number one. Oh, by the way, for the thumbnail. Okay. So, what is this? Okay, this is a dish drying rack mat to replace the rack. Like, if you just want to sit it on your counter. I got this because I thought it was cute, this pattern to dry my dishes on because I got a big rack that's in the way and I don't really need that so I got this instead if I can get it open alright so again just a little mat to dry your dishes or glasses or whatever on this and be but I thought it was cute with the pink and the floor design on it I got this this is a fan I got the fan to you, you of course you could use a fan when you're hot but I got it as a beauty fan so you know like when you like washing your face doing your routine or whatever you can like dry before you go to the next step because I get sick of you know all that so I decided to get this cute little fan I got this one is green um you can like move it around and stuff like that if you want it. I think it got like a thing to set it up, but for the most part, and it comes with a charger, so you can charge it. So that's the charger. It goes in here on the side. Charge it up. The little button in the front. See, it's already charged a little bit. That way, self care routine. That feel kind of good. I might need to take this with me when we go to Dream Come this weekend. Oh, and it got more than one speed. It has three. Mm. Watch it ain't gonna be blowing up a hot air when I go to when I go to Austin, but but yeah. I'll make sure to leave the link in it. But just know, think outside the box. Like if you use it when you're hot, but you can also use it for a beauty fan. So that's why I got that. Cause I got tired of waiting on my face as well. Let me see what else we got in here. Okay, this is a soap dish. It's, for those of y'all who use like bar soap, it sit like on the edge of your tub. So like if you put your bar soap in there, the water can like leak out or whatever. So it goes on the side of the tub. I'm gonna fix it up for y'all to show y'all how it go. But it sticks like this and then it has suction under the bottom. So if you want to suction it to your tub, you could do that. So sometimes I use bar soap. So that's why I got this. So they're like, it can hang like that because I didn't have anything to put my bar soap in with this movie. What else I got in here? Glass bottle. For those of y'all who don't know, I am a hoarder of certain things. One being drinkable. So I thought this was cute. I dropped my straw. I thought this bottle was cute. It has some flowers on it. It comes with a straw if you want to use the straw, but as you can see, this top, I think you put the straw in there, but it comes with this top, and then it came with another top, too. Like, if you don't want the hole in it and you want it solid, so you have a choice to use it with the straw, or you can use it without. But I just thought this was really cute. It has some flowers, and they do have different patterns on Timu. See, if you're going out, you can just take it like that instead. This is too cute. It has milliliters on here, but at the end of the day, I mean, and it says have a nice day. So, I thought that was cute. Sometimes I splurge on things like this, so don't judge me. Let's see what we got in here. Now. So, do not know. Okay, this is one of those shower caddies, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I wanted to see the quality because I did get one from Shein, and it's still stuck on the wall to this day. <laughs> And y'all know we moved, so it's still over on the wall. But um, this is a shower caddy. 
It has the little holes right here on the back. It has the little attachments with it. So, they actually have nails, too. I guess if you don't have, like, a typical shower wall, you want to nail it. But I have the suction thingies right here. Unless, I might have to use them both, though. Hold on. I got the instructions here. Let me actually read. Remove protective film. Squeeze the surface. After pasting, screw on the screw cap. So I guess you could screw it in if you want, if you want to use it for that. I'm not putting no screws in my shower. I don't even think I could if I wanted to, but let me see something real quick. I do know you have to like, okay, so basically we're going to do this right here so y'all can see. See how like it has a screw so you can screw it in there. And I guess if you wanted to do the bottom screw, you could. This is just to secure the top, which I would already screw it in and make sure it's even. And then I would take the, I would do it the, the backwards way. I would screw it in first, like so. Get up close so y'all can see that. See how it's screwed in. There is a hole at the bottom. I don't have like a regular wall in my shower door. I guess some people do. I have like actual tiles, so I can't do that. But I would just go ahead and stick both of them on. Let me go ahead and stick the oven on so I can be direct with this and understood then i would take the the sticky back off to make sure i'm sticking it up even at the same time because i know my direction will be off sometimes so i would do it like that first but that's me make sure it's even and then put it on but i got this for my shower because i'll be having too many products in there but see how like i would make sure it's tight Make sure those both are straight. Take the backings off and then I will stick it up. And hopefully it'll hold as good as the one I got from Shein. Because be, nobody can move that one. Okay. So those are the things I got so far. So thank y'all for hanging in there with me. I think this is a bath mat. Let me see. I think this is a bad net, if you want me to be honest. Because I think I just, I probably should have looked at my account to see what I thought. But, hey, we love surprises, right? Seems like it's a little shaggier than it looks, but it's a little bath mat. Nothing to sneeze at. It just looked, I thought it looked good online. You have to, like, move it around so you can see the fuzziness of it or whatever. But bath mat. I don't know why I'm throwing it that way. Let's see what this is. I think I got all this stuff for under like 50 bucks too. So. This is probably a bath mat too. But just a different kind. I need it too because I needed a bath mat in front of my shower and in front of my tub. So this one is a little bigger than the other one, but it's a bath mat too. I thought it was cute with the little, I guess almost like little rocks or whatever. So yeah, last bag. Cause I ain't gonna hold you here longer than you need to be. Oh yeah, these. I need to find these in mass. So I can sell them in my store. But these are for like, I have some already, but they were kind of big. So I wanted these. These are like wrist scrunchies. So like if you're washing your face or whatever, the water doesn't drip down past your wrist. So it kind of catches the water and stuff. So these were like a book. So these are good. But I need to find some that's made in the States that are like cuter so that I can sell them with my store. And then this is like, this is for people. This is to wash your feet because I know some people don't do that in the shower. So if you have a shower shower, this actually sticks to the floor. You can see that there's like the little stickies on the side. I actually got one from Amazon before too, but I left it. I took it uh, last year when we went on our cruise because what I did was instead of having shower shoes, I have small feet. I know everybody don't, 
But I stuck this on the floor in the shower so that when we were showering, you could like wash your feet and not worry about stepping in the shower. Because if y'all ever been on the cruise before, y'all know that shower is small as hell. So this on the floor, I, this is like another use for it if you want. Like if you're traveling and you don't have shower shoes and you don't want to put your feet in the tub or on the shower or whatever, even if you did clean it or whatever, just to be safe, you can stick this to the floor and use it to like wash your feet and also stand in for shower shoes. So all of all my links will be pinned if anybody wants anything, of course, to like help your girl out, you know, if not, hey. At least it's cheaper than what you would have got it for somewhere else. But um, so far, I know a lot of people are like finicky about Timu. Some of their stuff is cool. You know what I'm saying? I would just be like, try to see if they have pics of it or whatever. Like the stuff I got today, it's cool. I mean, it's it's some of it is better quality than what I pay for. Some of it, you get what you pay for. It's that simple. But the links will be in the description. Not to cut the video short, but I do have to go because I do have a stream planned before we go to DreamCon this weekend. So hopefully y'all got this video before I went to DreamCon. If so, just leave a like. Um, uh, like I said, all the links will be there if you want to order. It takes about a week or two to get most of these items. But everything I've ordered from them so far, I've gotten. Quality, not always up to par. But like I said, you get what you pay for. So it's just one of them things where you have to hit or miss. Shein was the same way at first. Like when I used to shop Shein, their shit was like sus at first too. Then everybody start, started buying stuff from them. So their quality got better. So I'm pretty sure that it'll be the same um, for Timu. Like once they get their stuff together, it is what it is. But thank y'all for watching, girl. I appreciate the support as always. And I will catch y'all in the next video.